everybody guy. Keep it going for Chip Hall, everybody. Chip Hall. Thank you very much. My name is Chip, and I don't know where Dale is. I am not a rescue ranger or a stripper. Sorry, ladies. I did get so tired of that question, where's Dale? I decided that Dale would be a great name for my dick. And Dale is a stripper, so talk to me after the show. Recently, my doctor said to me, you have the worst acid reflux I have ever seen. He's Russian, so I'll drop the accent. He said I have to s stop eating fast food, drinking caffeine, drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, and smoking weed. Yeah, my five favorite things to do. Thanks a lot, Doc. Now what am I supposed to do all day? Be productive? No. Actually, I was uh, all drugged up from him sticking a camera down my throat. So he didn't say that to me. He said it to my ride home. So that's also the story of how my mom found out that I was a huge stoner. <laughs> and to make matters worse, my mom's name is Mary Jane. She did not appreciate the irony. But I'm, I'm two months sober now. It's fucking terrible. The doctor did not say anything about psychedelics though. So if anybody knows where I can get some shrooms, I'd kind of like to trip balls in Times Square and freak out some tourists for spiritual reasons. So cat people like to think that cats are better than dogs, but have you ever seen a video of a soldier coming home to his cat? A soldier coming home to his dog, that's as much as a tearjerker is surprising his kids at school. But a soldier coming home to his cat, cat's just gonna be like, I've been here. Where have you been? <laughs> war? What the fuck is war? <laughs> Get me some tuna, you sissy. <laughs> I don't know why all cats sound French in my head. Probably because they're both pussies. <laughs> I don't know, that's terrible. I can say that though because I am a veteran of the United States Air Force. Thank you very much. The problem is most people expect veterans to have really good war stories, but I was a weather forecaster <laughs> in Alaska. So unless you wanna hear about 700 really accurate snow forecasts, I'm probably gonna disappoint you. But I bring that up before I do my religious bit because I have to remind you, I fought for your freedom. <laughs> Kinda. I froze my balls off for your freedom. But if you don't like it, I'll just tell all your grandparents, you don't support the troops. So the last girl I dated was a born again Christian, which is fine when it comes with lots of blowjobs for Jesus. <laughs> But she was also on the paleo diet, and that makes her a certifiable crazy person. Because it's based on the eating habits of cavemen in the Stone Age. Because when I want nutrition advice, I'm gonna ask a Geico sport spokesperson. Me crock, me eat gluten free. But the paleo era ended 10,000 years ago when cavemen evolved into humans. But my ex denied evolution. She believed the whole universe was only 5,000 years old, yet chose a diet based in an archeological era she believed never existed. I 
don't know if it was the dieting or the born again Christian thing, but that's pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with this one. Uh, you ever come so hard that you started doing crunches? <laughs> yeah, it happened to me yesterday. And it's a good thing I was alone at the time because if there had been a girl there, she would have gotten a headbutt. I'm Chip Hall, everyone. Thank you very much. Chip Hall, everybody. Easy to remember. All right.